welcome to them we will discuss about the concept of adoption and diffusion then some attributes of innovation all these type of things and when you will understand these things then it is easy for you to understand about the diffusion in undergraduate courses also you learn these things it was taught uh, and basic things about adoption and diffusion of innovation you have already learned and what is adoption adoption is a decision to make full use of an innovation as the best course of action available means adoption it is a decision decision of a particular individual individual decision to make full use of an innovation whether he will use that particular innovation or not it is not only in relation to agriculture in in any situation it may be happen and anything new for that particular person that is called innovation and whether he will accept the things continue the things that will determine based on his own decision and that decision is also taken place based course of action available if there are four options suppose there are four innovations ultimately he has a choice to determine any one and out of these four which is best generally he will decide to use that innovation and that best course of action that is also under his situation means his background his choice all these type of things interference preference based on that if the innovation criteria characteristics are fulfilled then only he will accept the things it is a decision making process remember these things and it is individual decision making process particular one person he will take the decision for himself and based on that adoption will take place or there may be rejection of the innovation but that adoption it is always a individual process whether he will purchase a particular shirt or dress that will depend on your own decision others may suggest but it is your decision to accept those suggestions therefore it is individual decision making process and what is diffusion diffusion is the process by which an innovation is communicated through certain channel over time among the members of a social system it is a communication process adoption was a decision making process it is a communication process since it is communication it is passed through some channels and when we transmit it through some channel it will take some time to reach the destination and uh, what is the destination the members of the social system that means in a social system the members means the people who are living in that particular social system for them innovation is communicated through certain channel it may be interpersonal in personal different type and when it is passed through those channels suppose first one person received the matter then he will transmit it to another one from another next like that and ultimately to cover the entire social system it will take some time because one after another it will transmit it thus in the channel when it will come from one point to another point it will take time and so in case of diffusion we need some time immediately after adoption we can say that there will be diffusion diffusion may start but whether an innovation is diffused in the society that can be determined after a few times and this diffusion is a communication process adoption is a decision making process and the diffusion it is a communication process and it is a special type of communication why it is a special type of communication any idea what is the main elements of communication message sender receiver message channel treatment and receiver and that means in case of communication process a message is delivered and here in case of diffusion what is the message in case of diffusion the innovation is the message the innovation is transferred from one point to another through certain channel over a time period to the members of the social system they are the receiver and the message is 
the innovation and the innovation is always perceived as, as new idea by the respondent when we perceive a thing as new whatever the origin of the technology or ideas when it is new for me for the first time when we hear about a particular things then it is innovation for me and in that sense innovation is always new ideas and in diffusion process since it is a communication process and this communication process always hear message carries some new ideas that is why it is some speciality it is special type of communication in day to day communication process it is not that every time we are providing new messages to each other but in case of diffusion always we transfer innovation which is new ideas so always the messages of this type of communication is new that newness of the messages that is the specialties of diffusion it's a special type of communication have a newness of the idea in the message and innovation is an idea practice or object that is perceived as new by an individual or other unique of adoption unique of adoption means a person of the people who adopt the things or an individual innovation is accepted first by individual through individual decision making process that is adoption after that when it is transmitted through different channel like sense as an on our list type of things then over time it is spread in the social system and because of that adoption is the first point of diffusion that means individual decision making process is first after that it is a social process this is diffusion and it is a communication process and innovation anything which is new for you that is innovation just like i have presented this slide have you seen this slide for the first time with this content just now i presented before you earlier you have not seen this particular slide along with this text is not it this type of design or this type of text you have seen many a time but not this particular slide so it is an innovation for you when it is first time when it is new for you then it is an innovation and another point is in case of adoption it is a mental process why it is a mental process because it is a decision making process and in case of decision we have to act mentally our brain take in action to take a decision because of that it is a mental process adoption is a mental process diffusion is a social process adoption is an individual decision making process diffusion is a social process communication process the perceived newness of the idea for the individual determines each of her reaction to it if an idea seems to be new to the individual it is an innovation i have already mentioned these things if you think that it is new for me when it was first invented or discovered that is not a point if it is new for you then it is the innovation even if some idea or information if you heard for the first time then it is innovation for you here it is the perceived newness your perception whether it is new or not if it is new for you then it is innovation and in case of perception what is perception it is an activity through which an individual becomes aware of object around oneself and events taking place just perception it is the awareness you are aware about an object or idea or information but you have no details information in the awareness days when you are aware about the things then you know little about the innovation or matter just you know it is exist and based on that if you take a decision then that process is perception you perceive that this is this type of things but remember perception is not always correct when you will get more and more information then only after analysis you can come into a concrete decision whether it is a best one or not only awareness stage you will get little amount of information and based on that you just understand about the existence and the process based on this when you take a decision this is called perception and perception is not always true in undergraduate level these things are 
discuss participle attributes of innovation. Here also it is participle attributes. Attributes means characteristics. That means in case of innovation, there are some characteristics or attributes. Which are participle. That means you assume as the characteristics of the innovation. It may not. You just perceive that these are the characteristics. For the same innovation, two different people have two different type of perception. For one people, it is not good. For another people, it is very good. You can tell one is wrong, another is correct. It is their perception based on the information, based on their <coughs> background, they take the decision. They perceive that it is good, it is bad. And when the perceived attributes are in favorable direction, then it is easy to adopt those things. And when adoption is easy, then the diffusion process is also fast. There are some perceived attributes generally people considered in case of innovation, which is identified by Rogers and Schumacher in 1971. In case of relative advantage, the degree to which an innovation is perceived as better than the idea it's a person. If there is a particular innovative uh, technology, which is an existing one, and the new technology is coming, if the new technology is better than present one, then it will adopt. But whether it is better than present one, that is also determined by the adopter. He will perceive that it is better than existing one. That relative advantage may not be true for another adopter. For a big farmers, a tractor may be a good thing, but for marginal farmers, processing a tractor is not a suitable decision. So for the same innovation, the perception will differ. And because of that, we have to consider these things. For which group of people it is relatively advantageous and for which group it is not. Compatibility. Here, the innovation that should be socially, culturally, agro-climatologically, it should be compatible. If socially not compatible, they will not accept. If it is not suitable for their microclimate, soil condition, then also they will not accept that thing. All these things should be compatible. When the compatibility is more, degree of compatibility is more, then there is a more chance for adoption of the innovation. Complexity. To what extent it is complex to use the innovation? There are some technologies which is very difficult to apply and some are technologies which are easy to apply. Again, situation-wise, same technology, in some cases it is easy and some cases it is not easy or difficult. For example, in line soil, in our state, nobody prefer line soil because it is difficult, time-consuming, labor-consuming. But in Punjab, Haryana, line sewing is the common method. Without line sewing, they are not doing anything. For them, it is easy, and here it is difficult. So, for the same innovation, same idea, that degree of complexity may be different from person to person. And when the complexity, degree of complexity is low, then chance of adoption will be more. Trialability. When there is a scope for trial or test the things, then there is a more chance for adoption. Before adoption, full page adoption, if you get a chance to test it in a small basis, then they can take a decision quickly based on their trial. And this trialability is not only applicable in case of agricultural sector. Actually, exhibition, ritual demonstration, method demonstration, trial, all these type of things, it is because of this trialability. And in case of other, not in agriculture, in other situation, can you observe these things at application mode? And you will see now automobile industry. At present, there are numbers of vehicles, four wheelers, and customer are puzzled, which is the good one for him. And because of that, company also offer nowadays test drive and this test drive is nothing but trialability test at the cost of company based on that 
you can understand whether it is good or bad for you. In every aspect where the adoption is needed, adoption process is important, this type of things are always in action. In case of observability, if it is easy to identify the result, if result is observable, then people will take a decision quickly because based on the observed result. And if in some cases the innovation, even after adoption, they will not get the result quickly or can't observe the result. And in that situation, the rate of adoption is also low, like urea. Immediately you will get very good result after application of urea in crop. But in case of potash, it is not applicable. That means result you will not see immediately. The urea, it uh, provides nutrients for the uh, crops and the leaves, it will become green within one or two days quickly but in case of potash you will not get this type of sands sands will occur in case of root canopy root length all these type of things resistance capacity and those things are not observable directly and because of that application of urea is more than application of potash in farmers field though both are very important technology but there is a difference because of the observability. Those five attributes are identified by Rosars and Schumacher's in 1971. But later, Nepi in 1991, he also mentioned another attributes, it is predictability. And at present, we observe that predictability is the most important attributes along with relative advantage, not the trial. That means when you will mention about an innovation at that time, you should predict the result. And if the adopter he found that it is relatively advantageous without any test or trial he will go for adoption. Therefore, perfect prediction is necessary.